Well, hello there, you two. Welcome to the 26th of July. Abby says, I'm just going to hang out here in the shop. <laughs> no, it's her little morning ritual. She's got to hang out with me in the morning. My old Abby, Abby. You're a good girl. Yeah, you're a good old girl. Let's go see what the day looks like, shall we? Hmm? What it looks like is yet another mid-90s, beautiful, dry, hot. Look at it. It looks like there's a fire or something back there. That's some black smoke. I don't think that's clouds. That's not a good sign. Look at Mama in here. She's already on her phone. No texting and driving, ma'am. That's it. You're going to get it. You scared me. <laughs> Just uh, watched a fire engine turn in. I looked up the road. Whole bunch of fire trucks at the cedar mill. Oh no, I hope nothing happened at my cedar mill. I hope not. That would not be good. No. Nope. Well, there, little woman. Yes, I'll be. We've made it to Thursday. I know it. Heck yeah, look at this. All right. All right. Let's get <laughs> I could work. stand here and just stare at the beautiful blue skies all day. I know. But I recon and need to get to work. Yeah. All right. Pay the bills if you don't work. Yeah. Love. See you by there, little Love woman. You, baby. Mm, bye bye now. Rack is empty. <laughs> empty. Empty. It's a sign. That it's time to roll. Kurt just built this uh, R1200 GSA. I like seeing the reds because I don't see that many of them. Cool stuff. And no, <laughs> they're all 1200s. So I was talking to the owner. He don't. He has no information on when the 1200 is coming. He's not sure what the part or service manager is talking about. He says that boy's crazy. They don't even have an ETA of those things yet. There you are. Nice shiny. I don't think this thing's even been PDI. It's still got the floor mats and the tape on the truck. Probably dropped it off up front out here. That's where they drop them off is out here. He's the brand new one. That one is too, I would imagine. Oh yeah, I can see the tape on the dash from here. All right, Mom. Boy, it's just love and that 95 degree. Oh, we're saying 96 now. We gained a degree. It's supposed to cool off as it gets later. So at the last of the evening light, I'm gonna take you guys for a quick little ride on the E-iron. So the next thing you're gonna see is us riding down the road. Man, look where that sun's at. I hope I didn't wait too long. All right, so we're gonna rope. And just what do you think you're doing? I wanna go. This is the iron. I'll squishy. All right. My, I ordered a, uh, the matching Mustang seat to my front seat. And I, or Ryan ordered him a cool Mustang seat. Man, that thing looks really good. I forget what it's called, a trip or something or another, but it looks like my seat and it just has like one of those uh, <laughs> dental floss type rear ends on it. Okay there little woman. Hey there, hubba hubba. I'm gonna take you through the, oh no, I hope we're not too late. I'm gonna take you through the golden light of an evening neighborhood run. All right. I was just telling Kelly, going down the road and stopping, accelerating, uh, the iron literally does not know she's back there and the nice thing is I don't I don't have to sit funny on the seat because my seat fits me perfectly fine and then however it's fitting her well it looks like your well your butt's all the way on it yeah she says it kind of points down a little bit in the rear but we could uh, do they make quick release backrest for the sportsters as well I don't know no. so, so, Seems like they do. Man, just perfect out here. I think it's around 80, maybe a little bit more. I'm old, uh, I see the 80 down there, but I pulled it out of the garage, which stays cool. It's definitely perfect weather for a ride. Oh yeah, this feels wonderful. You know, it's funny, it doesn't slow the handling down of the bike either, you know, sometimes you, you add weight to a smaller bike and it's like very noticeable. It's like, it's 
like you're not there. Uh, that bird just flew up and hit me in the leg. Did it really? Yeah. Look at that. I hope it's all right. Yeah. I didn't see it f flopping on the ground, so you probably just redirect it. That's so beautiful looking down through there. Whew, that sun is bright though. <laughs> Whee! There's our shadow friends. Yeah. Look, he's got two heads. <laughs> stop here for a second and, and take in some views oh, oh man that beautiful up here and you walk out a little bit and you look out over the valley it's really cool anyway there's the Mustang matching back seat and the one that Ryan just got it comes back here and just goes skinny and rolls back right through here but I mean from here on it's exactly the same it's just like a continuation of mine yeah it's really cool the only thing I was worried about I think it might be doing yeah see it points points down that's hard for the passenger when they point down a little bit a little backrest to give her support and she'd be all kinds of happy yeah that's a pretty just a little something so you know you're not going to roll off the back yeah that don't look too bad for for a two up seat on the E iron there, Mama. I know it. <laughs> so when I pull up here and I can't show you guys anything, this is what I'm trying here. Let's try this. How does the? Uh, that's no good. I was trying to get the glare so you can see down in the valley there. That's beautiful out here. That is whew, one seriously long ways down. What is that racing out there? It's got to be a boat. Yeah, but it's, it's shifting gear, so it can't be a boat. Oh. I think I used to ride the DR out here. I think the grass has been so tall, I can't really tell what's out here. But Yeah, I know. I love that. See that stump sticking up over there, Kelly? It's a black stump. Man, I pulled through here one day and I looked up and it looked, I mean, tell me if you glanced up at that, that doesn't look like somebody squatted down in the woods. Yeah. Like they're about to jump out and get you. Yeah, I think I was on the BMW that day. Or maybe I was on the street glide, I don't recall. Yeah, that does not look too bad on there, Mama. You know, I'm talking, I'm listening to you on the Cena, and I'm talking on the camera here. And I, I'm sure they don't hear a word you're saying. It sounds like a one-sided conversation. Oh, and I'm an idiot thinking they're hearing both of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Let's continue our ride before the sun drops behind them hills there. Yeah. Well, little woman. Is a hub? You ready to continue on our little two-up on the iron? Our little two-up journey. It's like it's hovering right at about 80. It kicked up a couple of degrees because it's probably picking up engine heat. Ah, that camera always slides to the front of my pocket. Yeah, my big pocket. And I'm afraid the camera's going to scratch the tank. Or remember, uh, remember I did that with my CBX. Yep, I remember. I was doing a wheelie down the freeway of all things. And come back down that yeah. camera, kiss the tank. Yep, yeah, had the camera tucked under my coat. And I felt it go boom, and my, uh, I think it was my, uh, whatever lens that was, but you know how the lens have the little finger grooves, you know, for, for like uh, removing the filters, with a little filter hit, 
black part of my CBX gas tank and left little grooves in there. It looked like he kind of skipped it with the edge of a file, but it was a little sharp finger things on the on the lens. Never did come or, out. Or not lens, but lens filter. Yeah, never did come out. Wherever that CBX is. Here. Oh yeah. Oh, the sun's still hitting the barn. Look at that. Yeah. Oh yeah. And what's really cool is you go around the turn, all them red barns and outbuildings that guy has there. Oh, they just glow in this light. That's beautiful. That is like the perfect soft glow. It's a real soft glow. Look at them old red barns and stuff out there, Mama. Isn't that pretty? I would point out St. Helens, but this is the Hero 4 Black. Super view on that is like really wide. <laughs> yeah, you never going to get. No. These people live in these houses probably going, there's that crazy guy on the motorcycle. He always circles barns. He, he always loops through here. I don't know why, what he's obsessed with. Oh yeah. Look at there. There's it's a sight you don't see. No. Two up on the old iron. Wait, oh. oh yeah, that's some that is some absolute gorgeous lighting. Pretty, pretty. Well, I hate to make these things so quick, but from here out it's kind of riding down the highway and that's not so fun. And it probably no. probably makes a lot of noise for our scenes to try to compensate for for the wind noise. We hit our little pull out here for a half a second. What? We hit the little pull out here for a second. We'll line you guys up with that tree that way you're not getting blasted. How about that? I think it's the second tree works better, doesn't it? Yeah. Because it's a little uh -huh. lower. There we are. Oh man, look at that. Oh, oh. What the heck was that? I had the start button. Oh. <laughs> Instead of the kill switch. Wow. Oh, I don't know if that scene is picking that up or not, but you're getting that little bit of that through the shield. Oh man, we went to Utah and I think it was something called Cedar Crest or something. We're up on this lookout. Yeah, Ooh, that, that oh, whistling that's cool. sound going through the helmet. God, that's wonderful. And amazing the simple things that bring you pleasure. I know it. That's an old field, old farm stuff, old tractors out there. Our neighbors that were behind us that had the cattle and everything can't see it because it's a dark house. We built a mansion back there in that corner of this field. I'd have to fly a drone over it for you to see it. Look at that. Just peace. All I hear is the heat shields clicking on the exhaust. Oh, like a plane going yeah. over or something. That's it, here at Jet. That. Yeah, that's a passenger jet going over. Oh, yeah. Man. That is some kind of beautiful. Pretty, pretty. All right, Mom. All right, Unfortunately, Paul. we've got to head for the Hacienda. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're off. All right.
Whew, that's bright. Ooh, there was something uh, uh, decaying out there on the side of the road somewhere. <laughs> No. I guess we can say hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. We just saw you a few minutes ago. <laughs> took my helmets off and turned the old key hammer off. Parked the old iron there and let her cool off a little bit before I take her in there and heat up the garage. Not that the truck isn't doing a good job of that. Oh yeah. Amazing how much heat comes off an automobile. That heat is not around during the winter. I just want no. to say that. No, it doesn't warm the garage. Of course the heater's cycling too, but still it doesn't adding the truck doesn't add any heat to it it's crazy it's weird and motorcycles are the same way too certain bikes when you ride them in the summertime will cook you like my old venture like, oh man the heat comes out of that thing and just burns your legs in the winter time there's no heat like none like no, what I swear it's producing cold yeah but you know what the funny thing is harleys are the opposite you actually feel the heat you gotta Put your hands like around the back of the cylinders. I put like on the iron. I put my feet on the back pegs and I pick off the. I pick up the rear cylinder heat. In the summertime, you ride along, no heat comes off that motorcycle. So this is the one case where Harley's do work great in the winter. Your hands get cold. You just kind of stick it behind your leg and it picks off the heat. Yeah, that feels real nice. But anyway, I'm gonna try to leave more ride time. So we're gonna make the goodbye quick once again today. All right. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And I hope your Friday or Saturday are amazing. Heck yeah. Tomorrow is Friday. Yes. Nice. And that little iron does not know we're too up. That's the craziest thing. If anything, it made the ride a lot smoother. Kind of like mellows the suspension out. I just give very the good. shocks just one extra click when she's on the back. She's good to roll. All right. All right. Anyway, thank you guys very much. Hope you enjoy the two up dual vlog on the air. Very good. <laughs> All right. We'll see you tomorrow. You guys take care. All right. Bye bye now. Bye.